So today I'm going to talk a bit about how to break free from narcissistic chaos using a very popular approach from the business world that I'm going to adapt a little bit and call crawl, walk, run, rest. Hi guys, I'm Danny, and I create this content to share bite-sized life tips or little dichos that I have lived and walked. And these are designed to help you be the best you that you can be one step at a time. Narcissists are absolute whizzes at creating an unpredictable and chaotic environment. They use a gazillion tactics, control, manipulation, triangulation, gaslighting, isolation. This chaos creates and perpetuates so much fear and uncertainty for the victim in the relationship. They're walking around on eggshells all the time trying to figure out which bomb is gonna go off so they can avoid and stay out of that drama for everybody else on the outside of the relationship but maybe with a tie to a narcissistic loved one or co-parent, you still have to be ready and strategic about when you're gonna dip your toe in or open the door slightly to chaos, right? It never totally goes away. We don't do well with chaos and that can be outside of our control, but there is a really neat approach in business uh, that organizations actually use to sustain and maintain organizational health that I think is really interesting to adapt. It's normally known as crawl, walk, run. And I'm gonna start to tailor it and say it ought to be called crawl, walk, run, rest. But the rest needs to be throughout each part of the cycle, right? The concept is used in business to actually help organizations set realistic expectations slow down and avoid burnout. Applied in a more macro or holistic uh, sense of trauma recovery. I'm thinking about crawl as recognizing absolute basic needs. Are you eating enough? Are you eating at all? Are you sleeping enough? Too much? Um, are you drinking and hydrating? Are you meeting your basic physical and psychological needs after what you have just been through? Revival phase that you're trying to get out of and you're taking inventory of the aftermath of the experience. You're crawling. Don't try to do too much too soon. Part of crawling means getting support. You need outside feedback loops because you aren't necessarily equipped in a traumatized state to even assess what your real needs maybe even are or what you're missing from a potential routine. And by incorporating those supports and outside perspectives from counselors, therapists, doctors, you will actually build yourself a much stronger foundation to be able to walk and start recovery. You're walking now. You are taking on more responsibilities, more challenges. You start maybe establishing new routines, making new friends. Maybe you even have to start a new job but you're taking actions, you're walking, you're getting your car moving, as I so often talk about, you may also need to set boundaries with your abuser. Build in rest throughout each phase, and especially before you start running. Um, this is your chance to recharge, refuel, and by slowing things down systematically throughout this process, promise you, you're strengthening your foundation to speed up later on. In the run phase, you are operating at your full potential. You are taking off and you're taking on lots of responsibility and much more complex challenges. You're able to navigate with your former abuser with um, far fewer triggers and you're living your life to the fullest. You've got a plan and you're going after it. Crawl, walk, run, rest throughout. This is such a great concept for daily life, but particularly for trauma recovery and abuse victims to set realistic expectations and avoid burnout. I am delivering research-based content that I have lived and walked, and I want to see you all be the best versions of yourselves that you can be. Go get your free resource to take the first step for yourself or a loved one who needs it at my site, www.dannydicho.com. 
subscribe to my channels by hitting the plus sign on TikTok or the thumbs up or subscribe button on YouTube. I will see you guys again very soon. Remember, you've got this. Ciao.